When viewing the submissions of a Dropbox folder, there are two tabs, Users tab and Files tab. The Users tab of the Dropbox submissions by default displays only those students who have submitted to the Dropbox. You can use this tab to search for a specific student and or filter the search results on other criteria besides default display. To get to this, your submissions, click on the Submission Review tab on the navbar, click on Dropboxes. Click on the name of the Dropbox folder to view the submissions. You'll be on the Users tab, which by default shows users who have submitted to the Dropbox. So it'll only show you students who have actually submitted to the Dropbox. If you want to search for a specific student's name, click in the Search For field, type in the student's name, and click on the search icon. So the nice thing here is that if you have a student who's asking why they got a certain grade on their, on their Dropbox submission, you, instead of you scrolling through a list of 20 or 30 or 40 names, you can actually search for their name and then hit the search icon and get it. It's very important to click the clear search because my courses will remember the search the next time you view your submissions. Now you can use the submissions drop down uh, to filter a list to filter your search results. You can choose one of the following show everyone and then you click on the search icon. This will re results will display the students who have not and have submitted to the Dropbox. It'll give you a number here and you'll get to see all of the students in the list. And if it's 36 you may want to change the paging so that you can see all the students on a single page who haven't submitted. Choose users without submissions. This result will display students who have not submitted to the Dropbox. So this will only show students who have not submitted to the Dropbox. Users with preview submissions. What this does is the results will, dis will display those users who have used the preview feature of the Dropbox. Typically this would be faculty only. Students do not have the rights to preview quizzes. You may want to review the tutorial about previewing a quiz for more information. So if I click on that, we'll see that there's no results, meaning nobody has done the preview submissions. Users with graded unpublished submissions. This result will be those students in which you have graded their submission but have not published it yet. Published means that you've published it to the gradebook. These submissions are saved as draft. So again, if I click on the little search icon, you'll notice that this student is draft, hasn't been published yet. So this is a very useful filter in case you have a bunch of students that you wanted to come back and be able to see very quickly um, who, um, which ones you haven't finished grading yet. Again, clear search bef uh, before you leave to make sure that um, because my courses will remember the next time that you search. So now you have some other choices. When using the default submission results filter, users with submissions, there are some other filters to refine your search. The first one is only show users with unread submissions. If you checkbox that and click the search icon, this choice, when checked, only those students that uh, you have not read the submissions will be displayed. This is a very useful filter because the best way of grading is, after you've graded the paper, is to make sure that you've, that you've read that particular paper, that it's marked red. That way you know which ones you've graded and which ones you haven't. So that's a very useful feature. Again, click the clear search because my courses will remember. You can click the checkbox, last submission after. Choose a date to filter those submissions after a specified date. So if you know you graded everything up to the 23rd and you want to look for any submissions that came in after the 23rd, you can choose that date by clicking in the date field and choose a date on the calendar and click search. And again, your searches will be filtered. Click clear search again after each one late submissions before this particular search uh, choose this to uh, date to filter for those submissions before a specific date so again if you want to look to see you know did anybody turn it in before the 22nd 
and I can do a search and I notice that nobody did. And again, clear search is the best way to get back to the default. Checkboxing late submissions. This would be uh, results will show all submissions if a due date is set. If, the, if you set an end date, students cannot submit after the end date. So if I checkbox late submissions and I click the search icon, it should give me zero. Zero uh, says five results. It should give me zero results. Click clear search. But you notice no student showed up. The last thing is you can also filter the search results based upon if you provided feedback by choosing one of the choices under the feedback drop down list. So, users with feedback, this result will display students that, have ent that you've entered a grade for in the submission area. So, if I click on that, it should show me three results. Even if I have a draft because I did not publish it, that is considered feedback. And again, clear search because my courses remembers everything. Click on users without feedback and again click on the search icon. This will show you the two that I haven't graded yet.